Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another general love reading. Shout out to all of the beautiful, amazing Scorpios of the world. Uh, the sun is shining on you, beautiful, amazing Scorpios, and it's all about the Scorpios. Welcome back, Scorpios. Grand rising to you, beautiful, amazing Scorpios. Uh, if you're new, welcome. This is Brown Eyes here at Brown Eyes Intuitions. And of course, it's a Scorpio-only channel over here, but if you're into uh, uh, generals, uh, of all zodiac signs and all energy, check out my other channel at Truth Revealer 3363. So Scorpio, shout out to you, my beautiful, amazing Scorpio family members, my Scorpio family Patreon members, my beautiful subscribers. If you're liking, sharing, and subscribing to this channel, thumbing it up and doing all those beautiful high vibrational comments and all those things like that, then you are my Scorpio family. Thank you. So Scorpio, this is your love reading, honey, for this magical March type of energy. And look how we're starting this reading off. You got that 11, 11, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all so intense. So you might as well just own it. It says 11, 11 is an important number for twin flames. It symbolizes the harmony and balance of soul counterparts. So you got some type of twin flame, some type of strong relationship, some type of um, counterpart, a uh, spiritual connection here. Something could be happening 11, 11, um, November 11th. And then you have learn, let love show you how to learn from each other. So obviously that you're going through some things where you're supposed to get some lessons out of it. So it could be obstacles. It could be challenges here too, because you do have obstacles here. It says, look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness. So it says oh, more than one way to skin a rabbit is what they say. It says, let love show you how to learn from each other. So obviously this 11-11, whoever this uh, twin flame energy is, uh, they're in your life or coming into your life because there's love lessons to learn. And from both parties, you're to learn something from them. From their side of the 11 and their side of the 11 is trying to learn something from your side of the 11. It is definitely uh, somebody coming into your life to bring balance, to restore balance, uh, or they could be coming into your life because they need something in you uh, to, in order to bring balance back into their life. Because y'all just, just the other half of each other, that's all. And you know, a lot of times when you're in separation or you haven't met this person, you're not with them, is something's going to feel off. So some of you guys could feel disconnected right now. You could be feeling really, really disconnected and really tired with somebody that you have never met before. It's because I feel like Spirit is trying to prepare you for this person. So it says, look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness. So like I said here, it's all about your perception here. If you see bad in it, then that's what it's going to be. But sometimes the, the simplest things to start, to start um, addressing your obstacles is your perception of it. Are you going to think that, you know, it's over? You cannot change. You can't get better. You don't deserve better. Then that's going to stay an obstacle. But if you look at things for what they really are and know that there is an, a chance to uh, move beyond it, um, learn from it perhaps, and uh, move towards something better, then that's that's where you're going to find your happiness at through your, through your lessons being learned. And then this last one is talking about your moment. It says, think of a special moment that brought you much joy with your partner. So in other words, Spirit is saying, you know, you don't have, even if you're thinking about somebody from your past, if you're thinking about if you just so happen to start going on back memory lane and start uh, reminiscing, then only think about the good things. Don't think about the bad things. L let, let that person, <laughs> let, them, let the good times stay fresh in your mind. Um, and you don't even have to be with this person or want to be with that person. But like I, like I feel like, you know, your person ain't the only one that has to learn. Scorpio has to learn too. Everyone has to learn. That's why we're meeting people. That's why they seem like they never go away because sometimes even Scorpio has not learned Scorpio's lesson because that's ultimately why we're here. As you begin to uh, learn your lessons, you won't make the same mistake. You will start peeping out stuff before they even say a word, honey. You're just going to see their energy. You're going to know if they're for you or they're not. But also it's telling you to think of a special moment that brought you much joy with your partner. You don't even have to have a partner in order to think about something good about a person, do you? I mean, it's called fantasy dreams. I'm just saying you can't you can't think about 
You can't think about your idea partner here. Well, if you could think a very loving, happy way about a potential partner, then think about the good things about this relationship. Don't don't create somebody new in your mind, but then attach your old crap with them. Let them just shine and be new and fresh so that y'all can have happiness together and y'all can start growing from the lessons that you have learned, Scorpio. So let's see. You know, them obstacles are here for you to learn. And, you know, usually it's going to be through some type of intense connection, because if you if you're not emotionally connected in some type of way, it ain't going it ain't going to affect you, is it? No, it ain't, you're going to dust that stuff off. You're going to move on. But if it hits really, really home and it hits close, it hits to your heart and your soul. You're going to take You're going to take heed because it's going to be the only thing on Scorpio mind. And then you can start dealing with it. So your overall energy, Scorpio, is the will of fortune here. Could be dealing with a fixed sign here. Change. Good luck. Things are changing in your favor here. <clears throat> Ten of Wands, time to release burdens or something is changing where your burdens are about to be released. Some type of mental breakthrough, some type of conversation here, some type of victory. That's going to in return spark a new creative uh, opportunity for you, passionate. You got the teacher, the hierophant, you got the lovers. So for some of y'all, this is dealing with uh, your 1111. It's dealing with your person here, the hierophant, the lovers. You could be dealing with the Gemini, but then you have the nine of disc. I feel like that is you. <clears throat> so some of y'all, the sun card, some of y'all gonna have to realize or decide because when you meet your person, you don't you don't sometimes you don't look at it from a spiritual perspective because you because you can only identify with the results of the relationship. So if, if the relationship is kind of uh, awful, then you're not going to be looking at this person like, well, that's my twin flame. That's my soulmate. I know I'm supposed to learn spirit. I'm supposed to balance him spirit. I, we're supposed to balance each other. And they taking you through heck. Now that means that you're going to have to learn a different way here. Ooh, but that go to page of cups. And the Eight of Cups, see? And the Hangman, you could be dealing with a Pisces. Knight of Wands. Four of Pentacles, see? So like I said, some of y'all done forgot. You're not tapped into that spiritual connection from a spiritual level because <laughs> you too busy pointing at what they did to you wrong or what went wrong. But I feel like if you're in this nine of Pentacles, then I feel like some of you guys are single. You got new opportunities coming your way. It could even be some type of relationship. It could be that the person that's coming to you is learning. Ooh, if this person don't keep jumping up, but that's what came out, y'all. Y'all heard it flip over. King of Swords. See, I know it must be lessons then because you're dealing with uh, air and water. And I know that's a, a lesson for y'all to learn, ain't it? See, they go to Ace of Cups. And underneath the bottom is the star. They go to High Priestess. And they go to freaking Empress, baby. See? Ooh, she looks... <laughs> She looks serious, don't she? They probably look at you like you ain't no joke. Ooh, Scorpio, they go to three of cups, see? Some of y'all dealing with air energy with this empress, uh, ace of swords, will of fortune, the lovers, king of swords, cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces here with the will of fortune. And the Ace of Cups, wow. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Will of Fortune, Ten of Wands in reverse. Ace of Wands. You got the Teacher, which is the Hierophant. Nine of Pentacles, so it could be somebody here that is, time has come where somebody uh, it's finally, <laughs> y'all, when I tell you that King of Swords keeps showing up for y'all now, y'all was on the, y'all was on the King of Wands. Now y'all got the air coming back out. But there's a lot of opportunities here, though. You have the Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Wands with a soulmate, with the lovers. So lessons, so you know that, that, that there's lessons here. 
because that's that's what lovers represents choices and decisions and how you conduct yourself. What is your perception of how you should treat somebody? But you do have a new opportunity in love with this ace of cups. So let's start off with the will of fortune. Why is the will of fortune here for Scorpios? Could be dealing with some type of fixed energy where they are fixed. It could be a Aquarius, could be a Leo, could be you, Scorpio, could be a Taurus here. So why is the will of fortune here? Now it does represent good luck, divine time and fate, destiny, karma, good fortune. Why is the will of fortune here for Scorpio? Spirit, clarify the will of fortune. Oh, wait a minute. I got the same cards. Wait a minute. <laughs> Ooh, and look underneath the bottom. There go that emperor. Oh, Scorpio, there go that emperor. See there? Some of y'all dealing with a boss. Maybe you're dealing with an older gentleman. Maybe this person has children. Maybe you have children with this person. Or maybe this is just somebody here who is, who is grown with wise or who is wiser. Could be your baby daddy. So let's see. Pardon me, y'all. Things are changing for you, Scorpios. That's first and foremost. Things are definitely changing in your life. I feel like you have such an impact on people here, Scorpios. You probably be thinking that you're you're never going to get what you deserve with all of the good energy that you have put out. But it just seems like, you know, that old saying anything worth having, you're going to have to fight for it or wait. Be patient because it seems like you're getting these very intense connections. And I feel like it's something major. It's not just an, any type of this is no ordinary love. No ordinary love. I feel like it ain't no ordinary love, Scorpio, because you're not ordinary. <laughs> you hear me, boo? <laughs> now, Scorpio, you know you're not ordinary, honey. You know that this, you know that anytime you give your love, it's never ordinary because you make it special, okay? They probably couldn't be special on their own, but because Scorpio always adds that uh, isn't ordinary love effect, then everybody becomes special, even by default, until Scorpio unspecialize you, okay? So now you got the will of fortune here. You know it's not an ordinary love. You got the will of fortune here. It's almost like, Scorpio, you remember there's lessons to be learned here. Lessons, lessons, lessons. I keep hearing it. You got to learn. It says, let love show you how to learn from each other. Maybe somebody is finally going to take your lead. Maybe somebody is watching you. You know what I'm saying here? It says, think of a special moment that brought you much joy with your partner. Somebody here who, who could be thinking about happier times or because this King of Swords is a thinker. And it says, look for ways around the obstacles to happiness. Somebody's changing something or somebody's wanting something to change or something is definitely changing because you have this 1111. It says it is an important number for twin flames. It symbolizes the harmony and balance of soul counterparts. It's time for the masculine and the feminine to balance each other out the right way. All right. The will of fortune for Scorpios. What's up with this wheel? Why is this beautiful wheel? This beautiful change. Things are changing for the better. And sometimes it up, you know, it uproots things that, that does not serve its highest good. Well, they go to page of Pentacles, some type of good news coming your way. Could be dealing with the earth sign of Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. So you could be getting some good news about some money that you've won or inherited. You got the will of fortune. Uh, page of Pentacles is not big, but it is a message of something big. So see, something is going to be good. Ooh, we child. I say, ooh, we child. Scorpio, ooh, Scorpio, it's time for you to fall in love and get this happy, honey. Could be dealing with the Leo. Ace of Cups, for some of y'all, this is what you're manifesting here? Huh? You thought it wasn't going to happen, but with this will of fortune, it's changing things around here at Scorpios. And then it could also be your person, whoever, whoever, 
this could this could just be somebody's life changing and then they enter into your life this could be somebody here who was manipulating and just holding back out of fear but with this will of fortune somebody is making some changes here scorpio it could be you could very well be you or spirits want you to know that some changes some beautiful amazing changes are taking place in your overall life because you know the will of fortune represents a lot of good things what's up with this wheel see you're going to be happy about it too see you got calls to celebrate scorpio so prepare yourself don't get comfortable with feeling like you ain't got it don't be don't get too comfortable with feeling like you're gonna stay single forever because uh look act like you got somebody uh pamper yourself as if you already got somebody okay uh because after all you have to do that for yourself don't you yeah, pe people love somebody who take pride in they self because they know that you're going to look out for them. All right, Ten of Wands in the reverse. Why is this Ten of Wands here? Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Why is this Ten of Wands showing up from a beautiful Scorpios? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah. Ten of Wands in the reverse, a burden, not letting go of something here is too difficult. What is it? The Ten of Pentacles, there it is. The Ten of Pentacles, is somebody was having a hard time releasing something. Probably somebody may have had some type of, it could be somebody uh, dealing with family issues. It could be somebody here who is a part of a wealthy family here that plays a vital role in their life to the point where it's unhealthy. What's, you got 10, 10, 10 of wands and the 10 of, it could be somebody here. It could be some, it could also represent that with that will of fortune, all of your burdens about to be gone, baby, with that 10 of pentacles. God dang it. Now, now you think that 10 of pentacles can't solve everything. I said that 10 of pentacles can solve a lot. So for some of y'all, your luck is changing financially. It could even be something like an overnight thing here, Scorpios. That's what I see for somebody, for somebody it's lottery, um, lottery associated your numbers could come in for some of you guys you're going to get some inheritance because you got the ten of pentacles so it's like your luck is changing your luck is changing in your money and in your love life scorpios y'all see that's why you got that uh that three of cups some of y'all may find out that you won a big you got awarded some money you got uh won some money you're gonna be kicking it see that there it is justice see See there, Scorpio, see? Don't you see how the wheel is bringing you in some fresh, better energy? Oh my goodness here, Scorpio. You got something beautiful coming. So if you've been dealing with heartache and lack and all those obstacles, because like the cards say, it's a obstacles. <laughs> Look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness. And it ain't always just about your love life. Sometimes in your work, your career, with your family, with your friends, through your health, through whatever, you still have to look for ways around the obstacles. To, it's it's, it's kind of like, what was that silver lining? Where you've made peace with it. It's like you can find the peace within any storm. So it's almost like look for the, in other words, choose wisely on how you pursue, perceive things because, you know, we're very, very judgmental. But our thoughts as well as our words are very, very powerful because we could be uh, counting ourselves out with our own thinking and with the words that we decree and declare. Because that's all we're doing. We're we working magic. You got the magician card in the reverse. Some of y'all probably thought you wasn't going to get it. Or you see, somebody got a judgment coming in for some money. Something's finna cancel out all your debt for somebody, y'all. I see it. But but lucky for you, I see love too. It's, it's to show you that you are very, very loved, Scorpio. It's to remind you that all the love that you have given out, now you're going to get it back. But it's going to be from the hands of the universe here. So, you know, you know, it's going to be fair. You know, you're going to get everything that you deserve. All of the good energy you have put out. You're about to get it back in. So, please believe all of your love given out is not in vain. That's who you are. So be yourself. Somebody's about to get the he a heck of a, a heck of a judgment. 
a lot of money. Somebody's going to get a judgment on, for some money here. It's in your favor. You got the Ace of Swords. You got it. Whew. Somebody about to get them zeros on zeros on zeros, okay? You're going to pull up to the scene with the ceiling missing. Ooh, I heard you gone and swoop, swoop me up. <laughs> we used to say swoop. Do they still say swoop? <laughs> Oh, somebody's about to experience the good life. Somebody, somebody's being awarded some money. Maybe you're about to enter into some type of contract. Oh, for some of y'all, it's going to be with a, with a person. They go to lovers. Got the lovers twice and there go the chariot. See, there it is again. The chariot and the lovers. Some of y'all dealing with a Cancer, Libra, Gemini, Virgo, I saw the Hermit. Oh my God, Scorpio, they go to Star card, Aquarius, they go to Magician card again. So some of you guys' wishes are about to come true because it's time, because you've sown some good karma. You've sown some good seeds, obviously, Scorpio. I feel like some of y'all stored up for a rainy day. So you know what I'm saying? It's almost like when you're giving and you're doing things, it, it's never unrecorded. I mean, it may look like it's unregarded as far as people are because our, our attention span ain't worth nothing. It's too, it's too many distractions here. But spiritually, everything is accounted for. There is no good deed that goes un. Um, unnoticed or unrewarded and I feel like y'all got something so beautiful and amazing coming in that you would not believe it this is for all the love that you've given out Scorpio it's time for it to come back in and boy when I tell you it's coming back in it's coming back in you better get you an umbrella what's up with that ace of swords though could be somebody here and coming in your life could be somebody coming in your life to do something. Look, don't come for me. Ace of Swords, somebody could be having a breakthrough from their past or their childhood. Somebody could be breaking generational curses with this judgment card. Somebody may be free from their childhood issues, free from the past, the things that keep you stuck, thinking that you can't have it all. You can because it's here. Ooh, there go that Knight of Wands, though, honey. Mm-hmm. Yup. So this is this is the deal for some of y'all. The same person here who didn't want no long-term relationship. It's the same person with his will of fortune is having a change of mind. See, somebody gonna get it. See. They go to 1111. That 11, didn't you, didn't you see the 1111 card? Well, let me remind you. There it is. See, that's what y'all dealing with. Y'all dealing with twin flame energy to learn your lessons. For some of y'all, you're about to be awarded some money that ain't got nothing to do with a, a lover or a potential partner. This is just from the universe because judgment is time. The will of fortune's time, it's, it's just, just time for it to manifest here, for you to reap it. But with this Ace of Swords, Six of Cups, and the Knight of Wands, I feel like somebody's trying to come back, all right? Or maybe they're going through judgment once again. But I, I, I like it like I saw it. Somebody finna get a lot of money. What's up with this Ace of Swords? See, Eight of Wands. So y'all about to hear some, hear, hear some type of communi get some type of communication from somebody from your past. It could be them dealing with judge when they're finally ready to uh, deal with their karma. Somebody's finally faced the truth. Somebody could be trying to come back to you from the past because now they're finally ready to face the reality of the drama that they cause. See? With this page of cups and that seven of swords. It's almost like somebody is finally ready to face you is what I see. See, because they go to four ones. See, there it is again. See, somebody couldn't, didn't, couldn't face you. Or maybe y'all didn't want to face them, but I feel like something y'all going to, y'all going to cross paths with this will of fortune here. <laughs> 
everybody trying to dodge everybody y'all gonna end up coming back face to face anyway y'all can deal with it how you deal with it that's what I feel like is happening because after all it is some type of a uh, soulmate relationship there's lessons to be learned anytime you you anytime your person comes back from the past that much or keep showing up it's because there's still lessons to be learned that's all now how you choose to to learn this lesson or entertain this past energy it's on you, you everything you're doing is being recorded anyway because whatever you say or do to the, the past it's being recorded and it, based on what you do or how you say it with that will of fortune it's going to come back around anyway you just hope that it come back around the right way so once again it's not what they say or what they do it's what you answer to so i feel like it's how you answer to this look you got your free will but once again, is it really ever over? It's never really over, is it? You're so connected. Ooh, -wee. he came out again. The emperor, see, Scorpio. Could be you masculines taking charge. You got the emperor on underneath the bottom. Ooh. Oh my God, I keep on seeing. The same old thing. Somebody here is about to stand up for your love. You're making somebody stand up. What you won't do, do for love. You're making somebody level up or somebody grow up or somebody is wise or maybe somebody is seeing things maturely now. Maybe someone has, since since the last time you, oh my God, you remember that song? Fly with me tonight for old time's sake. It's good, long time no see. That's how it was. Do you have a little time to spend it with me? I want to know what's been going on in your life. Huh. Talk to me, Scorpio. See, this person had to go through a whole bunch of stuff, but it's been a long time since you've seen this person. This is somebody from your from your distant past. This ain't somebody here who you just broke up from. I feel like this is someone here who years ago, y'all had a missed opportunity. They were immature. It could be somebody recently, but I feel like it's been enough time where somebody has done some spiritual work because you do have teacher and judgment. All right. <laughs> yeah. So now this person want to talk to you with this ace of swords. They want to tell you it's been so long since, we, since we've been together. I have missed you. Now I've got myself together. And I know just what I want. And right now, Scorpio, you know it is you. You. Rock with me tonight. Y'all gonna ask, y'all gonna run into somebody from your past past, okay? And you're gonna be so amazed at how mature this person has grown because they had to go through some things too. It's like everybody don't grow the same time, but it's lessons in here. With this will of fortune, some of you guys are gonna run into an old flame, somebody who is from your past, which is your twin flame, and y'all gonna have a real conversation here. And look, anything is possible, and that's all I'm gonna say. I don't need y'all attacking me in the comments section because your six of cups showing up. I ain't talking about the last six because how many folks in your past all of them wasn't bad was it now if all of your people from the past was horrible then maybe it's not just them maybe it is you <laughs> I'm just saying you got to learn sometimes it's going to take people to do you wrong in order for you to learn anything because you know Scorpio has the uh, habit of um having the illusions of love and you know what i'm saying because scorpio has uh sees beauty beauty in just about everything so they they overlook your faults and they see the beauty in you instead and i don't think that's a bad trait but i feel like it has to be balanced there's nothing wrong with healthy boundaries and i feel like this is a lesson that maybe that person or maybe you have had to learn since you last knew this person they're gonna see that you're you you've grown you're mature you're not gullible you know what i'm saying it's like everybody's learning their lessons in time so once again you and your twin flame about to meet up again now what's up with the teacher 
You got Aries energy. See, you got the half and the half and again. The teacher. What's up with the teacher here? You, this person could be a teacher. For some of you guys, this person went to school. For some of y'all, you, you may find out your person's a preacher now. <laughs> I ain't looking. Don't come for me. I feel like somebody had to educate themselves. See, page of swords. Somebody is way much more knowledgeable now. See, this person is wiser now. See, the emperor. Somebody, somebody didn't have a clue when the, when y'all could have been kids back then. Let's say y'all was children then, because you got the six of cups. It could have been somebody like in your junior high school where they were acting like a jerk because they really was immature and. You really, really liked them and they really, really did you wrong in school where you was very, very impressionable and you never got over it. But y'all share a very, very sweet, innocent time. That sweet, innocent time can be revitalized if you let it because now you're dealing with each other from adult perspective, not as some silly, immature, acne kids. <laughs> Right. See, somebody had to learn about certain things. With it could be a, a Sagittarius. Here. They had to learn. They was kids. <laughs> they had bracelets. <laughs> they were geeks. I mean, that, that's what young geeks do. Okay, that's what they do. <laughs> but now they're a whole grown person. Now, Scorpio, I feel like this is what it is. Somebody may be checking you out online or looking you up on Facebook and all they get to think about is how they clowned you or how they did pranks or how they made you feel some type of way. But they was a, a corny kid. See, they go to Tower Card. I feel like somebody, see, but they go to Ace of Pentacles though, see? Could be dealing with another Scorpio. I feel like somebody here really has educated themselves. Somebody could have even who could be a professor now. It could be somebody here who uh, as a child, they went on and did good for themselves, like some type of professor of like. Some type of. Professor, let's just say professor. But this person is highly skilled and highly knowledgeable. This is a wise person here. But I feel like this person's learned a lot of things along their learning. And I feel like this has made somebody more mature. Could have made somebody very, very wealthy too. <clears throat> and they're looking you up. Because little do you know, even though they may have ruined your childhood or your, you know, those days, because I see that. This was somebody here. It could have been somebody here who came from a family of very of a lot of wealth. And they were used to picking, you know, because they, they're not they wasn't used to not having anything. And it could have been somebody here who liked you. But because you may have not had what they had, you were picked on. That person thinks about you a lot. And like I say, if this is a if this is a wealthy person now, they could have inherited the whole family legacy. Yeah, this person coming in with an ace of pentacles for you. Somebody, somebody didn't understand that the jokes that they were, that, that they were the jokes or whatever they were doing, they didn't understand that it was going to affect you like that because they didn't know that, that you was timid. You know what I'm saying? They didn't know it, but little do you know this person was into you then. They were just a little young geek. That's all. So what's up with the lovers for Scorpio? Gemini energy. Got the lovers card twice. So y'all could have had y'all first kiss. <laughs> Why they had their bracelets on, they went and told everybody. <laughs> Did they tell everybody that they got a kiss from you, Scorpios, when y'all was kids? See, this person is ready for love, but I feel like this person here had to learn. And then it could be you male Scorpios. You, you may be going back into it, running into a, you could be going to a high school reunion. And you're going to run into that same person who you thought was a jerk. <laughs> and little do you know that jerk then grew up. The lovers, the six of pentacles. See, somebody want to be generous. I feel like somebody want to try, see, somebody want to try something with you. It's almost like somebody, somebody's coming into your life saying, would you like to try over as mature adults this time? I promise no more jokes. I don't run to my homeboys anymore. Besides, everybody married. Everybody tired. Everybody got beer guts now. We just want to be happy. <laughs> I feel like they're easy, easy like Sunday morning. But some of y'all like, uh-uh, you ruined my child. <laughs> oh crap oh scorpio some of y'all gonna be cold because all y'all but they were kids y'all was could not know the same for everybody but i'm just telling you 
It don't even have to be from school. I just feel like this is from when you were way, way younger and everybody was clumsy and just immature. OK, it may have it may have really hurt somebody and they still looking at them like that same look geeky kid that kisses and tails. <laughs> you could have let them went to second base, too. OK, and they told it too. OK, everybody thought you were just a little fast, <laughs> but they swore they wouldn't tell. But they had to tell they boy, you know, they probably. OK, let me stop. <laughs> Oh, snap, Scorpio. But I'm telling you, this person has grown up. It could be an Aries. What's up with this lover's Gemini energy? Eight of Pentacles. Somebody want to work something out. Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. You know they do. Especially with the Ten of Pentacles energy coming in. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. It's, it's definitely money, honey, honey, money energy. It's definitely you get to have it all type of energy. Eight of Swords. Somebody's unfreeing themselves. Somebody has unfreed themselves. Someone may be free. You got the Ace of Swords up here. For somebody, you somebody may come back and see like you could have did this to them and they was like a little puny person and you turned them down. They're going to come back all muscled out and you know what I'm saying? All very successful and everything. And you know what I'm saying? You're going to be feeling bad because you didn't take them serious. But now they made <laughs> somebody come back. I feel like some somebody may not hold it against you if you kind of joned them or treated them bad in school. But little do you know, it really affected them because they really were into you. But it's almost like somebody here may have been a geek or something as a kid, but they came from money. But this person is very successful as an adult and this person never stopped thinking about you. All right. Ace of Wands. What's up with the Ace of Wands for Scorpios? Clarify the Ace of Wands. So somebody, somebody, I feel like you need somebody to get you out of this very serious energy if this is you. And I feel like this Ace of Wands is going to do it. See, y'all may be trying to reject folks. Look at y'all. <laughs> oh, Scorpio. Ace of Wands. What's up with this Ace of Wands for Scorpio? Why is the Ace of Wands here? You got the Nine of Pentacles, King of Swords. Oh, that's why that Queen of Swords there in the Ace of Cups. I thought I seen the King. Three of Pentacles. For some of you guys, you're going to meet somebody at your job or something is going to you got some type of support coming your way in the form of new opportunities. It could be a new job. You could you could go to a place where you were uh, applying for a job and you realize that you got an old sweetheart that run the place. And you're going to be <laughs> some of y'all go, y'all going to run out. Y'all going to like, I don't even want the job, but he going to show you favor. You got the Ace of Pentacles twice. They're going to they will give you they, they would really look out for you. So in other words, don't don't let your disdain or your lack of forgiveness stop stop opportunities that are coming your way. Uh, you have to forgive and release in order to receive something good because it's going to show growth because it's part of your obstacle. See, they go to temperance card could be dealing with a sad. See, all in moderation. You know, you know, you ain't no cold person here unless you provoked here. See, because you got all these new opportunities here. And for some of y'all, you got them here. Like you got the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. You got the Ten of Pentacles. You got the Ace of Pentacles twice, not to mention the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. So like I feel like I feel like somebody here, see, but I feel like this is somebody here who gets a lot of attention. And this is person is known with the devil and the Six of Wands. So, yeah, like I feel like somebody here grew up and became wealthy. Or they come from wealth, okay, with that Ten of Pentacles, and they, they probably could have inherited with the uh, Justice card. Or y'all are about to get some type of judgment about a big lump sum of money that's going to give you cause to celebrate. And you're going to have new opportunities, and that's going to open so many doors for you. You're going to be happy in every le level of your life because you're gonna, all of your needs are going to be met. Now, what's up with this Nine of Pentacles? Some of y'all going from Nine to Ten. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for Scorpios? Or it's just somebody coming to your life who is extremely wealthy. They go to Eight of Pentacles. Once again, all of the time and efforts you have put out, you know how you be loving them, folks? You got it coming back in here, Scorpios. All of your hard work is paying off, Scorpio. All of your manifesting, all the seeds you have sown, they're growing. The chariot. There you go again, baby. Moving towards your victory, your success. Perseverance here. Control. 
All of your perseverance and your loyalty is paying off for you. This has helped you out a lot too, because you know, sometimes when your emotions get involved, it just shuts you down. So I can see how this Queen of Swords could work for you now, but you remember you got a King of Swords here too. I feel like your King of Swords is that emperor, and I feel like you let somebody got you cold and detached towards them, like they are towards you, or, or the appearance that they were. So now you got Cancer energy. What's up with this Nine of Pentacles? Could be somebody traveling in to you to, to try to work on a relationship. Why is this Nine of Pentacles here? Somebody's heartbroken. Success. I see success, success, success with S's. I mean, with dollar signs, eight of wands. There it is again. Some of y'all finna travel or somebody is traveling towards you. Somebody's finally got control over their life and their challenges. Nine of Pentacles here for Scorpios. Ah, uh, snap. King of Cups is that same King of Swords. Somebody in love, God dang it. Somebody say, I was, somebody say, I've been in love with you ever since we was kids. Somebody say, I like how you used to come to school with them little twigs in your head and everybody used to make fun of you, but I thought you were so cute. <laughs> oh, see. <laughs> oh, y'all in these strong soulmate twin flame relationships. You, can, you can't escape it because it's, it's lessons. Because you don't have to burn the bridge with everybody. Everybody, you don't have to leave them without a pose. I'm just saying. So now you got that King of Swords. What's up with this King of Swords? Oh, you got the Ace of Cups twice. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. What's up with the King of Swords for Scorpio? Something is changing drastically in your life. All of the good energy is being, is being drawn to Scorpio here. There they go again, King of Swords. What's up with the King of Swords for my Scorpio? Let's clarify the King of Swords. Look at them. Oh, back down memory lane. That King of Swords checking you out. I told you they checking you out. They trying to see if you still mad at them. They say, whatever it is that I did to piss you off, is you still mad? Because somebody said, if it makes you feel any better, I'm sorry. <laughs> they say they got a lot of regret. They're sorry, Scorpio. That's why they checking you out to see if you, if you still feel the same way about them. For some of y'all, it's somebody from your deep, deep, deep past. And like I said, when this person, when I tell you this person's stalking you, they're stalking you. You know they are. They always are. Got the page of swords twice. I feel like this person is very, very successful. I feel like this person is very, very knowledgeable. I feel like this person is way much more wiser than, than they were when you were with them. They could have been a child or a very adolescent person back when you knew them. You may have not really gotten really serious, but now is the chance because I feel like you're grown adults now. Now you got another opportunity because I feel like both of y'all think about each other because it was safe. It was easy. It was special. And now an opportunity is going to come back around where y'all going to run into each other some type of way or reach out to each other and then you guys are going to really get a chance to talk to each other and y'all going to realize that it, it, it really was nothing bad that there is that that, that same beautiful school girl or school boy crush is still very very powerful today when they're close to you they go the world card see this person could be watching you online here's scorpios they're trying to find out about you See, this is somebody here who moves in silence here, but they, they low key, they're watching you behind the scenes. Could be a Capricorn, see? Nine of Pentacles. They could be looking at you to see if you're, if you're single. They could be looking at you to see if you're married or not, especially if they're coming back in from the past. And then it could be, it could be you last thing you knew of them is that they were in a situation. Now they're out in the Nine of Pentacles. So now your last card is the Ace of Cups. Why is this overflowing unconditional love twice showing up for Scorpios with a soulmate knight of coins? Because somebody is considering coming to you with something real. You know it's real because you got all this real energy in here. Yeah, somebody coming in for something real now. Could be somebody that got older now and somebody's looking at life from a mature's perspective now. Somebody could be really ready to settle down now. 
with something real. Ooh, see? Somebody's looking for love now, Scorpios. I'm telling you, these masculines need somebody to... <laughs> They need somebody that's going to help them. They need somebody to rub their back and cook their food, wash their clothes. I mean, I ain't just saying be they. Maybe I'm saying somebody to emotionally fulfill them. And when you see a king of cups showing up, I feel like it's going from a king of swords to a king of cups energy. Then you know they're serious. You know they're serious. Eight of swords. I feel like this person never got over you. And they were hoping for a new opportunity. And lo and behold, with their will of fortune, it is definitely about to present itself. So y'all be look out. You got either somebody coming in way back from your childhood when y'all was high school sweethearts or somebody from your past. Once again, it's coming back because they cannot get over you. But this time they're coming in with something real. All right. So this is your love reading, Scorpio. So if it resonates, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.